Your dream as a youngster, you see, was to be a world champion kickboxer, play football for Wales and go to the Olympics. So far, she's had two out of three. My name's Lauren Price, I'm 25 and I'm from Astramana. I'm the Commonwealth champion, European Games champion, and now I'm hoping to win my first world title in Russia. From three days old, I've lived with my nan and granddad. He literally just took me in and uh, brought me up. <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't for them, then I wouldn't have achieved anything, really. I probably would have ended up in K, maybe, or God knows where I would have ended up, but everything now I'm doing was all for them as well. Um, just to say a massive thank you. I'm based in Sheffield in the English Institute of Sport. This is where GB Boxing trains. Obviously, all the greatest you can see up on the wall. And the likes like Nick Adams, Anthony Joshua. I've travelled the world and been around to other training camps, and I'd say we've got the best gym in the world, definitely. Um, I'm up here till a Thursday, training three times a day, but I go home every weekend to spend time and help my nan and granddad out, so it's nice to go home and uh, switch off on the weekend. The break of day. Lauren's parents weren't able to look after her, so we offered to take responsibility for Lauren, and we took Lauren on when she was three days old. And she's obviously been with us ever since. We did it for the love of the child as well, you know. We, um, we just fell in love with her. Yeah, so we're in Ashrod Manak, my um, hometown. It's a nice little town, nice little village, uh, South Wales. Yeah, it's important for me, um, especially obviously because my nan and granddad as well. I take them shopping on the weekends, so that's a massive part in my life to do that. Put the Snapchat filter on her. She loves it. Oh, of course I do. I'm going to go on my story now. <laughs> yeah, my nan, I have a laugh and we've always gone on. And um, yeah, she's like my best friend. From the age of obviously eight, they've um, they've got me involved with sport. But obviously, when I was growing up, kickboxing and football, yeah, it cost thousands like over the years. As time progresses, their dreams become your dreams. And as a youngster, I always told her, reach for the moon, you fall short, mm -hmm. you land on a star. And I'm hoping that she's going to get to the moon this time because she deserves it. She really does. Proud, more than proud. I have to be because, uh, you know, let's be honest, what she's done and achieved is unbelievable, really. Yeah, i got to, like, pitch myself sometimes to think that how far I've come, but I've still got a long way to go and um, I'm capable of, of bringing back a medal and I'll be doing my best to do that. <laughs>